Okay, Steve here again from steveturson.com. Um, this is part two of um, a video. Of, the first part was purchasing or buying a domain, your own domain, and I used GoDaddy as the place from where I purchased the domain. So uh, the, the first video is showing you how I did that. This is a follow-up video, so part two, if you like, um, and I'm going to show you how to take that domain, use domain forwarding with masking, so you can, if you like, cloak or disguise your affiliate links if you don't want your affiliate links to be on display for all and sundry to see. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. On the screen, you have the um, my GoDaddy site, not my GoDaddy site, but the GoDaddy site. It's uh, it's it's linked to Australia because that's where I happen to be right now. I'm going to sign in. So this is all happening live. Nothing's there's no smoke and mirrors with this. It's um, it's what you see is what you get. WYSIWYG, if you like, domains. Um, that's where you will find the, the domain so this would be the screen that you would probably see when you logged on unless you're brand new to GoDaddy you may see a different screen I'm I, I can't remember that far back Any, anywho uh, what we need to do is to manage domain so I'm going to click on that waiting waiting and this is the next screen. I just so happen to have a few domains. The one I purchased was mobepartner1.com. That's the one I purchased. So just to show you, before I do anything else with that, I'm just going to type into my um, into my browser mobepartner1.com just to show you what that looks like before I do anything at all. So I've just purchased the domain. This is what it looks like. The URL will provide to you before you do anything with it, before you, you know, add a WordPress site to it or some other site or anything you do with that site. This is basically what you get. So I've registered my domain. It's being parked, ready for me to take action on it. And that's what we're going to do um, in a moment so let me just get rid of that back to GoDaddy down to partner mode partner one.com that's the one I want to use to demonstrate forwarding on so I'm going to click on that there it is this is now there for me to work with and this is what you would expect to see when you do this as well now what we're really interested in is forwarding down there I want to forward it. So when you look at your browser, just to, just to briefly explain, when you look at your browser, in the top of the browser, and I think only part of mine is visible to you, but in the top of the address bar of the browser, when you click on a website or when somebody else clicks on your website or your affiliate links, they're going to see all the link on your in the address bar in the browser. Now, if you want to prevent people from seeing that link for whatever reason you may have the way to do that the way to cloak it is to do what we're going to do right now and that's we're going to forward the domain to uh, a, a particular url which which is mopartner uh, mopartner1.com on the screen now and i'm going to attach one of my mob affiliate links to it and i'm going to be cloaking or disguising the link as well as stopping it from being seen in the address bar, bar, bar in the browser. Forwarding is the way we're going to go. Not uh, not interested in subdomains, but uh, we're now going to manage forwarding. So I'm going to click on that. Next screen pops up. Should be a little box just like that. Domain is what we want to do. And I want to add forwarding. And don't forget, we're going to mask it so people can't see what it is in the address bar in the browser. 
So I'm going to click on Add Forwarding. And in here, HTTP is where I'm going to add my affiliate link, which is what I want to cloak, if you will. Now, I've already copied an affiliate link from my back office, so I'm just going to hit paste and look at that. That's the wrong thing. No, it's not. That's the correct thing. That is the link I want to to um, to hide. If I'm just I'm just going to press preview there. I, I double check everything. I never leave anything to chance. And whenever I do, it cocks up. Preview. Let's just have a look at see what it is I'm forwarding to. Sometime today. There we go. And this is my. I'm just going to pause that video. And that's the page, my affiliate link. I'm going to be forwarding to. I hope that sort of clear to you there. I'm going to leave that page. So that's correct. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm going to choose permanent. Um, to be honest, I don't know the difference between permanent and temporary. I could probably research it, but I've always used permanent 301, so I'm going to continue with that. Forwarding only. No, I want to forward with masking so it can't be seen up in the address box on the browser. I can put a title in here. And if I click on that little thing there, it says enter a short title that describes your web page. This title displays at the top of the browser. This is what I want to replace my affiliate link with is this title I'm putting in here. So I won't take too much time. I can change this later, but for the sake of the demonstration video here, I don't want to take all day with it. So the title, I'm just going to put uh, something like I top tier opportunity that's my title description is I'll just click enter a short description of what your web page is about to display in search engine results um, that's the description um, all I'm going to do like I say just to keep it simple for this demonstration I'm just going to copy that I'm going to plonk that right in there keywords I'm an affiliate marketer Affiliate marketing. Now, I'm going to. I could put a whole bunch of key phrases in there, which later I'll do that. But for now, that's fine. And it says here, update my name, servers, and DNS to support blah blah blah. Uh, leave that ticked. Yes, and then we're going to add this now into the mix. So there it goes. It says um, it's updated the forwarding. This is the new um, the link in here that I want forwarded I'm happy with it I'm going to click save and job is done it will come back to tell you something in a moment and it says here your request has been submitted changes may take a few moments to take effect uh, so down here forwarding you'll see domain off still um, if I came back in say half an hour time refresh the page or logged on log, logged off log back on this will then show you that domain of my affiliate link I'm forwarding to I'm going to just try one quick refresh to see if it's happened very quickly don't hold your breath oh, I am just too good there it is that's exactly what I'm going to be forwarding to so that was super quick and that's just fantastic maybe that's Good on GoDaddy, maybe. Okay, there you go. That's it. That's how you forward. That's how you forward with masking, which is my recommendation. Any questions, send me an email, uh, if you will, to um, admin at steveturton.com. Skype is steveturton56. Um, if you want, <coughs> pardon me, if you want to jump on board my um, particular affiliate opportunity, which is the best one on the planet, without a doubt. That's why I'm in it. I know these things. Um, reach out happy to help okay hope that was uh, hope that serves you well and um, have a great day I'm back Steve again um, there's something I would 
I'm just going to add to the very end of this video about domain um, forwarding with masking. I should have I should have included, but I'm going to tack it on the end here. So excuse me for being so slack and forgetful. Um, once you have the domain forwarded, which we looked at right here, um, it does take about five to ten, or maybe even longer minutes than that for it to take effect. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like because on the previous video I had a look at the um, the domain I purchased it was just a GoDaddy site uh, a site it said my domain was purchased successfully and it's been parked now that I have forwarded my affiliate link to um, to it I was going to show you quickly what that now looks like. So instead of it being parked with GoDaddy, I'm just going to type in what my domain was I purchased. And that was Moog Partner 1. Yes, there it is, dot, dot com. And that's it. So it's gone from the GoDaddy um, default page where it says... Uh, the domain was purchased successfully and it's now parked. Now there's my affiliate link. Uh, so as you can see in the browser bar up here, by my choice, instead of looking and seeing my affiliate link in there, which was about 10 million letters and numbers long. Okay, it wasn't that big, but you know what I mean? It was quite long. Instead of seeing that, you're looking at my new domain which is the way i want it to be and so when you so when you purchase your domain from godaddy like in my uh, video number one i showed you give the domain that you want to purchase some thought because it's going to show up here this is the one that's going to be on display on the screen that you can see so give it some thought what you want to be your domain good luck with it because there's millions of people out there who probably want to buy the same domain that you want, so you've got to be prepared to come up with some alternatives to be able to snag the one you want, but give it some thought because it's going to go on public display. So there you go. Hope that helped, and um, best of luck to you. I'll speak to you soon.